A high-profile partnership between Baltimore City and the Department of Justice remains in flux tonight. It aims to reform the police department, and the government asked for another delay during a crucial hearing. WJZ investigator Mike Hogan's live at the federal courthouse downtown with what's next, Mike. Mary, it is all up to the judge. He has been critical of the federal government asking for these delays, trying to put the brakes on this. Justice Department lawyers say under the Trump administration, they believe this is local business and the federal government shouldn't be getting involved. Justice Department lawyers signaled their agreement for sweeping reforms to Baltimore's police department could be in jeopardy, repeatedly telling Judge James Bradar that the Trump administration and Attorney General Jeff Sessions are gravely concerned about the consent decree's effectiveness. It's in the judge's hands right now, and the judge can rule whenever the judge determines it's appropriate. <laughs> Marcella Hall broke down in tears before the judge, one of 49 people to speak here. She lost her son at the hands of police, yet she too has concerns about the decree. They've been corrupt my whole entire life and they ain't gonna stop because of the piece of paper in the courtroom. Greta Carter Willis, whose son also died in a police involved shooting, believes federally mandated reforms are necessary. My message for the DOJ you have signed this decree. Decree. We are holding you accountable. You're the ones that came in. You found these inconsistencies within this department, and you must stand to your word that you're going to allow it to go forward. The judge has chastised Trump justice officials for trying to put the brakes on the decree. City leaders have urged him to move forward. For them to postpone it uh, would uh, precipitate a lot of outrage. The Obama administration favored high-profile agreements with cities where the DOJ found widespread police violations of civil rights. The question now is whether, under President Trump, the federal government will keep those deals or be dragged into them by the court. And Justice Department lawyers cited Baltimore's high crime numbers today, saying they wonder if this consent decree is really in the interest of public safety. Maryland's congressional delegation, the, those serving the Baltimore City area, have all come out against the Justice Department's request for a delay. Reporting live at the federal courthouse, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you. Mayor Pugh says she will move forward with the reforms with or without the federal government, and the governor says he backs her decision.